the orange lobsters come closer come closer yes they got a bunch of sizes in they always do get everything early and they always have all the good stuff but this one right here i want to talk about this shoe give you guys a quick look at it give you guys some in-hand detail shots i'll make sure i take some photos and some b-roll for you but basically on this shoe in particular you got the more rare and exclusive versions with the yellows and the reds and then the blues was a little bit more affordable which i used to have those in the past and i regret getting rid of them because those are starting to become very expensive and now you're seeing the newer would you call these retros i don't know if you want to call them either way it's just more color iterations and the orange one is the one that now everybody's talking about potentially being sneaker of the year and honestly the materials the details the story and then obviously the whole set orange blue yellow green purple and then potentially the white one coming out so there's a lot of different things to think about when it comes to this shoe but i'm excited to see what you guys think about these On the bottom right here, classic SB Dunk bottom right here, all orange. On the midsole, all black with the orange stitch right here. And then onto the upper, you got the two different sets of materials, kind of that lobster print right here. And then more of a smooth suede with no print right here on the midfoot and then on the toe box right here on the top end. You got a, I don't know if this is 3M, no, it's just a white leather behind the swoosh right here. And then this has like a different type of print. I'll try to get some detailed shots for you guys as well, but it's not just like a flat orange leather. There's a little bit of detail to it. Kind of got like a smoky kind of vibe to it. And then on the upper right here on the tongue, all white tongue, you got the orange Nike SB logo. These come standard with white laces to go with the tongue. But I think in the other shoe, oh yeah, the black band that goes around the toe, similar to the lobster claws as you see. So some people wear it with it on, some people don't. It kind of messes up the shoe if you do wear it with it on. And I know there are some extra laces as well. I saw them in the other shoe earlier. But this shoe is pretty much the same thing. You know how sometimes on shoes they like to switch things up on the left and right foot, but everything's pretty much identical on that aspect. And then right here you got those more kind of aqua, kind of blue colored laces and then the orange laces right here. Let me know what y'all think down below in the comment section when it comes to the lace options. The blue might make it pop a little bit. The orange might blend in really well. Maybe even black laces, that might make it look good as well. I don't know, they don't come standard with black laces, so that would be something you'd have to add on extra. And then you got the picnic print right here on the inside of the sock liner. I don't know if you guys can see it. Either way, I'll make sure I get some detailed shots. That's all right here on the sock liner. And then you got that behind the tongue as well. The Nike branding on the back end of the foot. And overall, this is a very, very clean SB. Is this the best one of the year? That's gonna be something you guys are gonna have to answer down below in the comment section. I posted a fire or trash on my Instagram. Let's see what everybody's talking about for that real quick because I'm just interested to see how, I don't know if it's just the orange color or what. I like the shoe a lot. But again, it's orange. That's the thing. I'm like, I don't know if it's my go ducks in me. So when I ask people if this shoe is fire or trash, we got 84% of the people said fire and 16% of the people said trash. So overall, it looks like a lot of people like this. Now I need to put these next to the Ama 4s and the Black Phantom Travis Scott 1s and the Lost and Found Jordan 1s, different things like that to see what they think those compare to when it comes to those releases as the sneaker of the year. And some people are saying Fire Red 3s and uh, the Concepts Air Maxes, like a lot of people slept on those. There are a lot of great shoes that came out this year. So let me know what you guys think about these down below in the comment section. Just wanted to give you guys a quick look. And if I do end up adding these to my collection, I'll definitely make sure I give you guys another detailed review. So based off of what I'm seeing right now, these are supposed to be dropping on the second for the Concepts drop. And then your local skate shops are supposed to have them. And they say that they're gonna have them on Sneakers app as well. So maybe this might be the widest release of these, but at the end of the day, they are still gonna be a pretty limited shoe when it comes to other SBs and other dunks that you can get out there. So that's gonna probably make the shoe fetch somewhere from five to $800. And then in the future, it might be that $1,000 shoe. Who knows, we shall see when the time comes and everything. But let me know what you guys think about these. And if you want a full like how to cop or me, go find the exact shops or anything like that, or you need more information and updates, let me know down below in the comment section. I'll make sure I get that out for you guys. Shout out to Untied as always. If you guys haven't already, make sure you hit the link down below in the description. That'll also get you guys free shipping on all the orders from their website. So if you plan on picking up something like this or anything from their site, make sure you guys always do that because that'll get you guys free shipping on your orders. I'll see you guys in another one. I'm out.
Yo, before you go, I just launched my Sneakerhead Academy where we got everything on the inside. I teach you all the stuff that I learned over the past 15 years when it comes to sneakers, scaling, real estate, you name it. We talk about all of it in there. And there's an eight week program plus a bunch of monthly giveaways. I give away shoes literally way too much, honestly. But either way, I'll see you guys on the inside. Hit the link down below in my description or pinned in the comment section for DJ Sneakerhead Academy. And I'll see you guys over there.